Oh my God. Oh, you're not. Oh, you're not eating me. Oh my God, that was spectacular. Beautiful fish. Strip. Strip. My God, I mean, look at that video. Like, who doesn't want to come to a place where you can see so many tarpon, see them in their natural environment like they have down here at the Tarpon Key Lodge, and see them crush bait like that? They're gonna come into a good spot right here on this point. I mean, that's spectacular. That's like National Geographic stuff when you're that close. Uh, to watch them just continually over and over and over just hit that bait and the water blows up and the birds are crashing. I mean, it's an electric experience. You don't land a lot of tarpon and I don't care how big or how little they are, it's hard to find a spot in that mouth to bury that hook. Oh! Is that, is that, is that? <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Woo -hoo! Oh! oh. <laughs> nice! <laughs> You know, I don't know if there's ever really an answer to it all. It's just about making enough effective casts, stripping the fly effective enough, and make sure that it's in the front of as many tarpon that you can get it in front of, because you never know when the bite's gonna happen. And then it, when it does, it's just electric. Fish. Strip, 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 strip. Uh, sometimes you can get them to hit right away if they haven't been pressured, but Sometimes they make you work. They make you cast and cast and cast, and they're right there. I mean, you see them blowing Ooh. up, you see them rolling in, cast oh, right in there. Oh, yeah. But when, when you do get a hookup, whether you're ready for it or not, it's exciting. When they blow up on it and start jumping and splashing, and yeah, good stuff. My wife says, You know, couldn't you have just gone fishing there? Did you have to buy it? And I said, No, I had to buy it because. You know, if I can wake up every day and, and go to bed every day with these sunrise and sunset, I think I've done pretty good in life, you know? So I think I've made it, you know? After, uh, you know, being here almost every single day, I, I think it's just wonderful and I think I've done something right, you know? So I just want to share that with the rest of the world, that's for sure. The beauty of it, because, you know, we wake up at five o'clock and we have a light coffee, muffins, banana, banana bread, and the boat leaves at 5.30. At 5.30 too, you're fishing. That's the wonderful thing about it. And we're surrounded by hundreds of miles of flats where other lodges that are, you know, they'll travel an hour, an hour and a half to get where we are. We're putting in the extra three hours a day, every day, fishing hard. We wanted to be the lodge in Southern Belize, you know, but we also wanted to protect the fishery, you know, so we, we don't, we wanted to increase the the uh, the quarters. We wanted to increase, uh, you know, how our our staff and and our guides are living. We built a beautiful guides quarters and staff quarters for them. But also, we added some other amenities like this palapa. We're building a new lodge, but we don't want to overfish this fisheries. He's coming to it. Twitch it. Twitch it. He's right on it. Long strip. Long steady. Long steady. Right stop. Twitch it. Wow. I can't believe they didn't pick that up. You know, a lot of people come to Belize to catch bonefish, and they're here, you know, everywhere. You can always find a bonefish to catch, but really it's these permit and tarpon that make this part of the world so unique. They're also two of the hardest fish to not only hook, but land. And that permit, that might be the hardest fish in the world to figure out, to get them to eat a fly. Oh my God, it's right in them. He's on it. Come, Come on. on, pick it up. Come on. Uh, you can s yeah. tell by the images. Oh, the fly is so many times the crab fly or the shrimp oh, fly is in yeah. the bucket. You know, you got to hit that little tiny God, spot. It's beautiful. in the bucket, and you see them. They race right over there, and you you see them kind of swimming around the thing. The tails are up. They're ready to eat it, and no, and then they fly. they swim yeah. off again right. with your hopes and your dreams. Ooh, oh. Uh, it never gets old. I mean, I've, uh, I was born and raised pretty much in this environment here and uh, seeing this stuff every day and the more you see it, the more you want to come out. I mean, it never gets old. It uh, doesn't matter how, my, how much uh, tarpon you catch, how much permit you catch. Every time you get on the flats or get in this lagoon or anywhere where, they're, where these fish are showing up, you know, the excitement is there. You know, it's, it's always exciting. It's a new, a new ball game every time. It's so rewarding. Uh, we saw literally hundreds of permit and 
I don't know how many solid shots that we had and those tails are up and you know if you're a buck hunter or a deer hunter you or a trophy game hunter you understand that when you're out there and that critter that you're after comes out of the bushes or out of the trees and the heart starts going and it starts pounding it's the same thing with those permit tails and they're dorsal when you see that come up man alive the heart just races and and you get crazy and, and you know stuff starts to happen with a fly line and, and tangles start to happen that you've never ever seen before uh, it's a great fish and, and it's just whether you get a fly in its mouth or not to walk these flats and to see so many permit and to watch those tails and to watch them feed and swim uh, it's a treat just to see them Ernest you gotta move easy you gotta make the right shot because they're very spooky you know um, you step too hard moving too fast or start casting at the wrong time you know they see that rod moving or you get too close to them or the fly lands too hard you know they're, they're just so spooky and very challenging and um, and that's one of the things that makes them uh, such a great sport yeah. fish can you see him from that angle yeah oh he's right there yeah you got him you got i got him. him let him run good cast in there let it sink little strip and bang. You got a permit on and you strip set and you hook them and, and elation happens and it's a beautiful fish that eyeball uh, and those fins and just the way they fight man what a treat that fish is but we got them in we got the, the great photographs of that fish it was a great moment a, a great team effort and and pure elation and it just it makes the trip to get one of those fish you only need one Nice! Oh, it's a beautiful permit. Oh, it was a—it's an aquarium, you know. And being an outdoorsman, it was this was the pinnacle. It was just so beautiful, and I just felt that peace here. Look at there how beautiful go. he is. We don't want to overfish this fishery, so we're still trying to maintain that we keep our numbers very low on how many fishermen we take because it's a very unique spot. This is special, you know. And we want to protect it, you know, and that's our goal. So it's not about. Um, you know, showing the world, we want to show the world the right way about how unique this fishery is in southern Belize.